I'm really on my third career. Um, I started out as a high school teacher in Canberra, um, teaching English and, English and history to senior um, high school students. Um, I'd always had a passion about politics and the law, so after doing that for several years I was fortunate enough to take on a role uh, within the Senate committee system and worked as a research officer and then ultimately as a committee secretary um, on a couple of Senate committees in Australia, which was a, a wonderful opportunity um, in the late 1980s. Um, I then really wanted to commit to, to law, so I had the opportunity to do my law degree at that stage as a mature age student working full time doing um, law degree. Fortunately, uh, the law school I was attending in Canberra was only five minutes from the office, so it was very easy to get to, uh, get to lectures and that, which was, which was great. Um, after I was admitted, um, I worked in Canberra in a, in a, a, a large um, national Australian law firm in, in its commercial um, areas, dealing a lot with government, um, commercial contracts with government. but. As happenstance happened, um, we had the, the firm at that stage had a small immigration practice, and it sort of fell to me to um, to develop that, and that then eventually became my real passion. So, having worked in that environment for ten or more years, I had the um, uh, the the uh, opportunity to join Fragerman in 2006. As far as I'm concerned personally this is um, this is the ultimate position I could have you know possibly aspired to to be part of a global organization is a wonderful experience to know you have colleagues all around the world who are doing exactly the same as what you're doing to be able to know that clients that we work with in Australia are going to be looked after within the Fragerman environment whether it's in Latin America, North America, Europe, Asia Africa, the Middle East, that's a tremendous, um, uh, tremendously positive thing that um, I feel we're able to provide to our clients. For me, immigration law really brings together a whole lot of other skills and experiences and allows you to bring that to, to the table in assisting companies to move people into Australia. And that's no matter whether it's a major company needing to bring a team of geologists in because they've just won a contract on a major resources project, or it's a startup company who wants to bring one person to Australia in order to set the operation up here. You really have the opportunity to engage with HR personnel, with global mobility specialists, as well as with legal counsel at various stages of, of the process. So, you really do get to know the business of the company, you get to know the people, and in some respects, even more importantly, you get to know individual assignees who are being assigned to uh, a role within Australia. And so over a period of maybe 10 years, you can have uh, you know, a very close relationship with um, an overseas um, person look, you know, coming to Australia, um, taking them through the whole visa process from an initial work permit perhaps right through to Australian citizenship. So there's a very personal part to it, but there's also a very important corporate aspect to it. And I think it's the bringing of those two together that really does um, drive the passion that we all feel for, for this area of practice.